My father was once Lord Constable of Serendia. Then one day, he was exiled. He was accused of deeply offending the king. As the scales tipped, I lived recklessly. I wallowed in the arms of a woman named Roxanne. Alfonso, ever earnest, had eyes only for Princess Durette. I wished him the best. Then, suddenly, the princess of Calfion, who was married to one of the princes of Serendia, died. Calfion pinned the blame on Serendia and waged war against us. In the ensuing war, my father was killed. Consumed with anger and grief, I enlisted in the army alongside Alfonso. I still remember the moment I reclaimed my father's sword from the blood-soaked battlefield. We were on the cusp of victory when Princess Durette was taken hostage. Alfonso proposed the formation of a rescue party. His intentions were clear. He wanted to make a name for himself, elevate his status, and win the heart of his love. However, it was I who ended up rescuing the princess locked in the tower. Alfonso, unable to contain his eagerness, wounded his leg. The rescue operation did not go as intended. 
General Cliff used me as a decoy to escape with the princess. As a strategist, it was the obvious choice. I was left to survive by the skin of my teeth and return to Hyrule. Upon my return, I learned Serendia had been defeated. The king had surrendered and was now a duke. The Calfion army then swept across Serendia, reducing Monvedel to ruins as a stark example. Then I began courting Jurette. Alfonso, in shock from all that transpired, went into seclusion. A year later, when the Duke returned from the war tribunal, Jurette and I pledged to marry. In that moment, the sole survivor of a crumbling family became the heir to an entire country. Shortly after, I became Grand Chamberlain, overseeing affairs of state in the Duke's stead. Now, with unfettered access to our nation's secrets, I learned of everything that had occurred during the war. My parents passed away while resisting Calfion's attack on the Western Front. That tragedy was avoidable and born entirely from General Cliff's misjudgments. I couldn't stand the sight of him, so I demoted him and sent him to the outskirts of Balamos. Calfion then constructed a black crystal extraction facility in the Western Swamp, keeping its output for themselves. It was only then that I came to understand the princess's death had been but an excuse to wage war, to obfuscate their true intentions. Moreover, the subject of my youthful affections, Roxanne Fiazza, was discovered to be a Calfionian spy. By plunging Serendia's royal family into chaos, Calfion created an excuse to attack. She orchestrated the princess's kidnapping and delivered Calfion their victory on a silver platter. There were many questions I wished to ask her, but alas, she had already taken her own life. Ever since then, I've been living desperately to set things right again.